Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, it has been a while since I have made a video. Um, I have been dealing, dealing with school and other things. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video. I will try to keep this short. I know how I like, we all know how I like to ramble on and on. <coughs> so anyway, what I was what I'm going to do today is I'm going to demonstrate and uh, show you how to XOR and the proper gold spoof. Um, I have actually beginning, I've been the last five or six months, I've gotten a number of people asking me uh, how to do this properly, how to XOR and how to gold spoof. Uh, so, for example, on the uh, on the gold spoofing, you know, I I've seen some of these stealth servers where you'll you know load up the game, and you'll get this uh, when you try to load up uh, like a game on demand, you'll get this message that's a, that's an error, and it'll say uh, can't launch from uh, Xbox uh, stores. Well, that's because the the gold spoof that they're using isn't properly updated. So I'm just gonna. I'm going to show you uh, that really, really quickly, and then I'm also going to uh, go into XOR. Uh, I thought I'd show XOR first. So this this did take me a while. Um, I didn't finally figure out how to do this. It's uh, the uh, the issue is uh, you got to you got to calculate it out correctly. Okay, so. Um, so if I pull up my uh, source files, so on your source files, you're gonna want to find uh, where you enter in your IP address. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna provide all this code in the messages uh, below on YouTube there, so you can just you know click on it and open it up and, and use it. So. Uh, just to give you a little rundown of what we got here okay so uh, we have we have the uh, the IP where you're gonna enter your uh, VPS server and then your port number and then what I think feel feel like at, that throws a lot of kids off is they uh, they see this you know XOR value and uh, port XOR value and, and you know they don't they don't know what to do so uh, these uh these values you can these values uh you can set them to whatever you want you got what you got to remember is though it's it's uh uh it's it's set into uh, um hex a uh, hex value so you know a d8 uh the inter the integer i'm sorry the decimal uh, yeah the integer is 216 74 it's 116 and so you know basically what it's doing is it's it's taking your IP address and um, exoring uh, by this number I don't know exactly how that if I was to translate that into arithmetic how that exactly works I, I don't know I just I figured out how you actually uh, calculate it okay so um, these uh, how you have these defined you can you can set these however you want um, just for some simplicity reasons I would just um, I just keep it to one like one digit so one I'm sorry one byte so that would be two two digits here so just keep it at one byte you can do whatever you want but I'm gonna keep them at this values and you can use the values I provide or you can use something else okay so uh, what you what you have to do here is um you have to calculate it out so uh and you have you can watch me you have to do that for all these okay so my ip address 7491 okay here it is uh, all right 7491 uh, Six, eight, two. Okay, so I want to take. I want. You're gonna select decimal, 
seven four. I I really really kicked myself when I found out how actually easy this was to do. Then you want to make sure. Well, first off, you want to put this in programmer mo mode on your calculator. So just make sure it's in selected programmer. And then after you select decimal, you enter your first two two numbers because these first two numbers um, these two make up one digit. I'm sorry, not one digit, one byte. And they make up one byte. So that would be uh, this here. That that's one byte. So two digits. And so. Uh, you enter it, you enter 74, select, you're going to select hex, and then you're going to select XOR button, and then what you're XORing the value by. So we're XORing the value uh, for IP uh, D8, so it's going to be D8, and then you hit equals, and then you get 92. You're going to set this up uh, 0x and then 92. Uh, I, if anyone's wondering, you know, anybody that's new that to this and they don't, they don't quite understand it, uh, the reason you want to do zero x is because the uh, C plus plus the the program here uh, when it when it um, when you run it the it uh, the 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 program uh, God I can't really put this in words <laughs> to make sense. Um, it it recognizes the uh, the 92, so it recognizes it as a hex. Uh, I'm after I get done showing you how I do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this up in uh, Ida and, and show you uh, what I mean that this calculates this uh, calculates it into a uh, hex. So mainly what I'm saying is the 0x92. That's that's telling C++ program. Windows Visual Studio program that you want this ran as a hex value whereas if you just entered in like say 92 it's gonna recognize it as uh, 92 and then it's it's gonna um, it's gonna run it as a digit as a decimal and we don't want that and then the uh, the 92 the converted value is uh, what you converted from D8 and so that's uh, that's the conversion over of the of the XOR, and then so you're gonna do that for each one of those, you know, 92, like how, exactly how I how I programmed it. Um, I might have a notepad in here with some further instructions on what to do. Just a uh, simple breakdown. Uh, anybody planning on uh, you know flooding my server again? I I I. At this point, I really don't care because I just I use this for testing anyway. I mean, most of the stuff on here is just it's just garbage I've collected, and cut and paste, and you know, see what works, see what doesn't work. And no, this isn't this isn't a sor a source I, I stole from somebody. It's something that I've uh, I've made my own. You know, I've I've uh, copied from other sources, and I've also uh, coded myself here as well I'm anybody anybody on YouTube that wants to try to get in a debate with me I'm telling you right now or they don't have any you know constructive feedback I'm telling you right now I'm I'm gonna automatically you know delete your comment please no hater messages man just no hater messages alright so once you get your once you get your uh, once you get your uh, IP exhort into uh, into your um, <laughs> into your uh, a VPS section here, um, you're going to do the same thing for the uh, port, except it's going to be the second value. Calculate exactly the same way, just different. So, like my my value is four thousand. So, I'll just show you one more time, real quickly here. So, uh, that's a decimal four thousand. And then my hex for this FAO like sword seven four equals FD four for four thousand, and that value is actually four zero five two. Okay, and then what's uh so um and again when I, so what's uh so what's really interesting um about this, and I feel like every every you know 
person out there that's trying to um, they're trying to make a server or whatever they, I, I feel like they should all know how to do this is, is half the reason why I'm making this video so you know this is what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a level of protection um, you really do not know how easy it is to actually find your IP address I have I have literally found uh, IP addresses for a lot of servers like just for example uh, um, still server 420 the last month I was messing around and I was able to find their uh, IP address uh, very quickly so uh, I really am hoping the guy the guy if he's watching this I might even reach out to him you know he might take this information and uh, exhort his IP just to protect it because there's just a lot of haters out there who'd like to flood your server okay so once you get your IP address and your uh, your uh, your port set up um, that's really it I mean make sure you got the proper code in here make sure you got the crop proper script that's that's really all you have to do for the XOR um, for the listener you don't have to XOR anything I, I suppose if you wanted to you could I get I think it's I think it's pointless but um, for XOR just make sure you have the correct port number so what I wanted to um, what I want to show here is I've I've got uh, I've got two sets of codes here. So um, if you if you don't if you don't want to XOR if you just want to use your uh, your your VPS and uh, you're stuck on XOR you still can't figure it out for whatever reason because I'm after the you know after watching my YouTube video I I would be surprised you wouldn't figure it out because it's I feel like a 17 year old could figure it out. I'm gonna leave this code. Uh, and here you can just use just uh, delete whatever the XOR is and then paste that in there and then you're gonna wanna delete this out and then what you're gonna do is you're not gonna do you're not gonna do the the hex value with the 0x you're just gonna do the regular value of your uh, VPS which I don't at this point I really don't recommend okay so uh, just just to show you I mean I I don't I mean I, I can show you here I I don't really think I think anybody can just look at this and you know compare it and see how it's uh, scripted out and how it's calculated I mean so you you got the fuck off skids XOR value and then you got the port XOR value and you can see that they're they're being uh, inscripted uh, down here into the net connect so right here this uh, this line of this line of code right here this is what uh, this is what this is like the start of the connection to the stall server so if you know when you're connecting it's gonna this code is gonna tell it what to do so you know I mean you can even just obviously you can just tell right here just because it says net connect to server I mean it's it's bluntly obvious okay so uh, make sure once you once you got this code in there just Make sure you uh, have it right, and then um, you know, run this, and then uh, I'm not, I mean I'm not going to calculate it out again. I've already I've done this ahead of time, but once you got this set up, uh, just add it to your stall server and uh, make sure it's on your make sure it's on your um, uh, sorry your HDD drive on your Xbox, obviously. And if I were you, I would tell all the tell all your uh, clients, people that connect to your server, uh, to get rid of the old one and to use the updated one. I would not recommend a lot of these server stall servers have built-in um, uh, modules that automatically update you update for you, so you don't have to so you don't have to um, you know keep a uh, so you don't have to like keep having somebody download a new XEX file. I, I really don't recommend that because uh, I when I've tested this out, I've noticed that my KV life like dies really really quickly when I do that. For example, and and just to add top of that, another example I noticed like for example on uh, Slave Live, I or whatever they're called, uh, stall server. The this kid he kept. He keeps put. He, he would always. Uh, this was a few months ago, but he he kept pushing out um, uh, new updates, and uh, 
you just have people uh, update have the update with the with the old uh, XCX uh, um, file and I noticed he did that I saw some people complain that you know they got banned really really quickly well that's because he kept he kept pushing out new code and you know the whole point of these stealth servers the idea of it is to stay hidden and he didn't stay hidden so when you push out new code like that you're you're basically telling Microsoft Microsoft is gonna see that they're gonna see that there's that that new code that comes in it's Obviously, it's way more complicated than what the way I'm explaining to it, explaining it. But I'm just trying to keep things simple here. All right, so uh, that's pretty much all you have to do for uh, XOR, and um, I, uh, I've already, I've already got it, I've already got it working here. So, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rerun this and then uh, show you that I've got it working. So, okay. Actually, uh, I'll hold off on that. I'm before I do that. I'm going to, I'm going to go into gold spoofing first. Okay, so uh, I know there's a uh, there really isn't very many videos out there about you know properly updating style servers, but uh, one thing I noticed, uh, you know, uh, one thing I noticed again on uh, style servers is nobody really really talks about uh, getting the correct gold spoofing. And so uh, I did a I did a little I did a little research, and so what you uh, what you gotta understand is you know when you're when you're new, especially and, you, and you're trying to figure this out, uh, you gotta figure out where where this is uh, loading from. I mean where it's where these these uh, offsets and where where this information is going and coming from. So. I mean, if you read, you re they don't. Well, I I wish they would give descriptions for each one of these, and and they don't because it's some stupid like programmer thing. They just kind of give you the gist, and that's it. I really think that's dumb, especially for people that are like new and and, and just starting out and, and don't know much. So, uh, for example, this you know I I figured this out because it says exam loader. Well, that's your exam XEX. Well, mainly I also figured out because I I. Re did a lot of reading, reading on forums, but I'm just mentioning this to make it easier. And then I'm including this in a video because I think everybody should know how to do this. So when you, so when either either you can figure out how to uh, update the gold spoof, which you you have to, you're gonna have to pull out IDA and then open up the exam XEX and uh, uh, enter in the old enter in the old. Uh, uh, a hash file right here like one of these enter in one of the old hash hash files and then um, uh, you're gonna have to find uh, the new data or you can just wait for somebody to come out and uh, you know uh, give you the information so anyway how you properly update this is you want to find your uh, exam loader uh, async challenge hook um, so basically uh, what this uh, what this line of code does is it uh, uh, how do I put this in words? Um, this is uh, I'm not exactly sure how to explain this. Uh, I know what it does. It's just hard to explain. Um, it, it gives you it it, it basically it basically it, this is it basically gives you uh, you know proper challenges and um, responses. So, uh, exam. So this is uh, exam is like your uh, is um, it would be your uh, user accounts would be your user profile, uh, your your avatar. I saw some other I've seen, saw some other stuff on there. Oh, and I also forgot to mention uh, you can find your exam XEX on your on your uh, Xbox 360 RGH. Um, I found mine in the uh, flash drive the flash drive portion of it not the HDD but the flash flash portion yours might be named something different but anyway the exam is is, is basically uh, you know loading up all your uh, profile material is really what it is and the idea of this line of code is to uh, spoof that so 
in you uh, when you when your profile when you when you're going on to your profile uh, you don't if you don't if you don't have gold you know the, the your hash the hashes the proper hashes aren't going to be in there it's gonna Microsoft would be able to tell that because you you don't have the hashes but if uh, you do have gold it's, the gold's gonna is gonna input the proper uh, well, I like I always like to think of it as code, but it's it's called hashes, the proper hashes, and uh, so it knows that you have gold. So what this is doing, obviously, is it's uh, when you get the proper hashes, it's it's uh, it's uh, spoofing the gold. It's uh, it's uh, it's like uh, yeah, it's it's like it's like when you uh, somebody spoofs your IP address. So if I you know if I have a my IP address is 192.168.1.1, you know, um, and I go through a VPN, you know, on the other, on the other end, uh, my, my address is getting spoofed. They, the person on the other end thinks that my, uh, I live in, uh, Timbuktu, uh, which is a real place, by the way, Africa. I think I live in Timbuktu, Africa, when I actually live in, uh, you know, somewhere else in the world. Um, so, uh, you know, just, just explaining, just explaining this, this is all, all this code, yeah, all these exam patches, gold spoof, this is all loaded from the exam.exex, so I just want to, like, uh, give you a little demonstration real quick here, one second. Of what I'm kind of talking about, so um, I found one of these here. I think it was, might have been this one. Yeah, it was this one. <coughs> so I have actually, I've, uh, I've actually um, pulled up my uh, exam XEX, and I already have it opened in Ida here. So let's just lower that down. So here's. Uh, Here's one of them. Here's one of the. Uh, here's one of the. Uh, uh, the hashes. Obviously, obviously, I I feel like the the tricky part is. I mean, I think these hashes are are relatively easy to find once you get the hang of it. I I feel like the tricky part is is finding the correct value to to set the memory or set the the hash to. Like this value, I I got from a friend, so I didn't I didn't actually set these myself. And then some of these others I I found online. But um, just to show you, uh, this is this is uh, the gold spoof is uh, is loading from the exam XEX. So when you uh, when you go to the Stell server, I mean this is this is how it works. Your your uh, your um, the the your stealth XEX is when you load up your profile, it's uh it's gonna load it's gonna load the exam the exam uh the program is gonna execute and and load from exam XEX and then it's gonna uh, input it's gonna input this uh uh or what's the proper usage words here uh it's gonna set the memory it's gonna set the memory for you yeah for the for your uh gold spoofing and uh for uh your uh exam uh patches right here which is which also also spoofs you as well it spoofs your council but um so when you so like the gold you know this this is gold spoof so when you go in it's gonna set the memory it's gonna find the memory and the in the hash data table which will it'll be right here you know it'll be right here and then it's gonna set it to this value and then I'll set the gold spoof for you and so when you log into your profile Microsoft thinks you got gold I uh, you know I uh, also I thought I'd mention too I I saw someone uh, I was thinking about you know actually making a uh, uh, a gold uh, spoofer um, uh, dot uh, exe um, uh, program, and just in case uh, a stealth server might not have gold spoofing, but I just realized to myself uh, I wasn't gonna do it because pretty much every stealth server has this. They all do, and if they don't, I really highly recommend that you 
tell them to come to my video and watch it and you know they can learn how to properly update this so you know uh, I also do want to mention too that uh, sometime obviously in the future I thinking it's gonna be a long time yet uh, at you know Xbox 360 Microsoft is going to obviously update to a new dash dashboard so um, you know <coughs> like uh, like I said in my one of my previous videos on how to update your uh, to the new dash with your with your stealth with your stealth server um, you want to you want to update your uh, where's it at your patch and jump is what you want to update I am not finding it yeah here it is yeah your your uh, system hooks so see right here initializes system initializes the the hooks I'm still getting used to all this verbiage and everything but um you want to update it to the to the correct uh to to the correct um hash which uh I did not double check this but I'm assuming it it launches from the same uh file which is exam at .xex you want to make sure that this is updated um, what a lot of people do is uh, they up, you know, they update this, but they forget to add in the proper gold spoofing. So um, I did that up there. So when you update it, you want to update this, and then you want to update the uh, uh, proper gold. You want to update your gold spoofing and exam patches, or you can just wait until someone comes out with the proper uh, proper information. Or if the new the new uh, dash that comes out. Microsoft doesn't change anything uh, from what I'm reading and what I'm seeing it really doesn't seem like they change very much of anything anyway so uh, but anyway that is the uh, that is the gold spoof and uh, that is kinda how it works in a little breakdown of it bear with me one moment here Okay, so I just wanted to I just wanted to show this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this here. Rebuild. I just want I just want to show you that that this works. That I can I can load from the from the uh, I can run for, load from the title menu and I can. And I've got the uh, the XOR working. I've kind of I know I've kind of dragged this video this uh, this tutorial out, but I do talk a lot. I kind of like to do things thoroughly as much, best as I can. I'm a little disorganized tonight because I'm tired of freaking working all all the time. All right, just waiting for this. As you can see, I've got a lot of Warnings and error messages because of all the <laughs> all the all the trash I've been you know I've I scraped together. I call this my little uh, my little Frankenstein my little Frankenstein project. So all right, so then we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, open from the folder from here. So uh, I also wanted to show you too. Uh, you in Ida you can also you know you you can also uh, people that people that want to hack your server or uh, flood your server um, I just want to show you like how easy it is for them to to find it so for example I've got I've got mine open up here uh, this one this one is the uh, uh, this is I've already done like I've already exhorted this one so I'm not gonna find actually find my IP address what I'm gonna find is the uh, is the fake IP address I basically entered so or exhort so what you normally most uh, what you want to usually do when you're trying to search for an IP address that on a stealth server that's not protected uh, what they say you want to go to I think it's net Dell connect and then go through here and then you want to find uh, yeah 
And each one of these are different. Um, they're not all set the same, but they all pretty much work the same. And you want to find the socket. And it's usually it's usually around here somewhere. But um I usually I usually I usually have my best luck finding a person's IP source when I uh when I find the uh uh intuit command like where they where it actually uh where it actually uh uh the program actually tells uh the XAX uh I'm sorry your your uh Xbox where it to uh connect and uh, it's usually it's usually right it's usually right in here so um this would be this would be mine right here and so what's interesting what interest is interesting about this is you can actually see it right here it actually gives the bytes and so when you, uh when when you find the right place where the ip address is you're going to go over to the and this is pretty much in most all if not all skid servers heck it even has my uh has the fake uh, uh port number too so you know it, even it, even if they, I mean, in order for them to find your correct IP address, they're, they're gonna have, they'd have to find the correct key that you use to XOR, which, um, you know, this is, uh, I use D8 and 74, and they're, they would have to, they'd have to figure that out, and, you know, that's, if they don't have this, and they're not gonna figure it out. Uh, I'm assuming the more complicated XORs use more, uh, more digits to make it more complicated and more hard uh, to find. But I suppose if they, if they, I, I know that I've heard that there's programs out there that can that can crack this and find it. But you gotta, I feel like you're putting in a lot. Of, you must, you must not really have a life if you're gonna do that. I guess, or you're really, really angry with the person. I guess is what I'm assuming. All right, so when you find when you find the person's uh, IP, which is which mine is uh, right here because you know it starts right here. You're gonna go over to hex view, and then there they are. I will show you here. Look at this. Uh, okay, there we go. See, this is my uh, IP that I entered. Nine two eight three eight C eight A. Okay. Um, all right. So now I wonder if I still got an old. Uh, yeah, I think I do. Okay. I will go to a different. I want. Oh, this one got a backup. I also wanted to show you this too. How easy it is for somebody to find your IP. Uh, okay, yeah. So, file open. Actually, you know what? I'm not entirely used to Ida yet. Alright, so we're going to go down here. I want to show you this, so bear with me a moment. Uh, this is probably not my best video. Oh well. It's not like I'm trying to be professional. Okay, and then... I'll drop that. Alright. Okay. You know, I I uh I talk to some of my work colleagues at work all the time. You know, I've done some uh hacking before with uh um uh Wi Fi for example or, or some dosing of myself with my, my Linux computer and uh some password cracking and I, you know I, I tell them uh, you, you know you, you guys are gotta be you guys gotta be careful. It's uh it's really really scary. It's it's really creepy like what, what hackers can really do these days, what they can do out there and, and how a lot of this stuff is just 
free on the internet. Like you just, you can just Google it with some time on your hands and some research. You can just, uh, you know, hack some hack somebody's uh, hack somebody's uh, uh, private information, and, and it's it's really it's really scary. I I really yeah. I I really recommend you know I tell them I recommend using a long password and uh, 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 protecting yourself you know okay so I am pulling up this is my old this would be an older XDX with the same uh, with the same um, virtual private uh, IP except it doesn't have the um, doesn't have the actual uh uh it isn't it it, it isn't exhored all right so hell it even just it brings it up like right here which is uh that's kind of scary too that it doesn't always do that yeah that's scary okay so i mean you can read it from here it's not always you know uh, blunt like that, but what you want to do is you want to select uh, where you find the uh, IP. You find the IP, select hex, and then there it is. And then, so if I was to convert these over X uh, for A, that's 74, uh, 5. Um, B, it's 91, uh, X74116, uh, 5282. Uh, five, okay, so I pull up my stealth server here. Alright, that is that is, is exactly what we just converted from hex hex to decimal. So so they, you know that's that's some uh, nerve-wracking stuff. So for anybody that doesn't have their uh, IP exhored, if you're ever wondering how somebody finds your IP address and it and your information and they de and uh, your source files, well, most of your information anyway, um, and you find and they ends up on demon forums or something or hackforums.com. Uh, this is why. So. Um, yeah, see, that's the, that's uh, that's my actual IP address with the not exhored, and then my IP address with the exhored. So, I mean, if they try to enter that, they're not gonna. If they try to convert that over to hex decimal. I mean, you can you can guess or they're not gonna find anything. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna find it. Got the right one here. Oh wait, no, I'm on the wrong one. Um, okay, here we go. Yeah. All right. So yes. All right, and pull up the other and silent. There you go. I'm only showing this thoroughly. If anybody's getting annoyed with me going ranting, going on and on, I'm only showing this thoroughly for mainly for new people. Is mainly why I'm doing this. So, yeah, all right, there you go. <clears throat> all right, and then I'm just, just to show you that this works, that I did this correctly. All right, so I'm going to pull up, X out of that, I'm going to pull up the file that I exhort on, uh, module. Just so you know, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. Alright, pull up the still server. And then we're gonna paste that in here. Alright, and then it'll be this one. Okay. Updating module. Right. All 
is restarting. Hopefully I don't have any connection issues. Okay, well, it just pulled up. I don't know why my stream isn't... Okay, there we go. Alright, no having network quality issues, I'm, I'm sure. Alright, so there you go. Alright, see, it worked. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and show you that the gold spoof works. Uh, I update this too many times and my KV gets banned. Uh, well, actually, I can just show you it this way. Okay, so. Everybody knows that uh, in order for you to have uh, to view uh, party group chat or whatever, you have to have gold. So um, there you go, gold. If I if I didn't have gold, if gold spoofing wasn't working, um, I wouldn't have uh, group chat. And then just to show you that I don't have gold uh, storage. Sometimes I just feel like a suck at life. Okay, there we go. Yep, see, free. As you can see, I haven't redeemed anything. According to Microsoft, my account is free, but yet I have gold features. Let me play a Call of Duty game here real quick. I really suck at Call of Duty even with these hacks. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Okay, so multiplayer. Okay, so, um, I'll talk about this in a minute. Okay, so, fetching profile. I think I got the correct bypasses for these two. I know, from what I understand, you don't even really need the bypasses anymore for a lot of these games. Because, Xbox 360, Microsoft, and the developers of these games don't really seem to give a shit on a lot of them I am running this uh, I am running this game from my uh, hard drive my external hard drive so this might actually lag out uh, team deathmatch alright there we go <coughs> see it's searching for games if I didn't if I didn't have gold spoof it wouldn't search for games it'd be like you need to have gold What what I wanted to mention is for whatever reason I still haven't been able to figure out because I really haven't I don't feel like I've properly asked the correct people about this, but this gold spoofing only works for certain games and pretty much all the new games. Oh, there we go, found a match. See? Which I will probably die very quickly. So like, you know, uh Halo for whatever reason, even a Halo 4, there it uh 
it doesn't work it doesn't work at all so um see look at that I suck I think I just shot my own guy Damn. Ah, I want to exit. You don't need to watch me play. Okay, so for whatever reason, this doesn't work on Halo. Uh, it doesn't work on the old uh, Call of Duty games. So the gold spoofing were on for example Call of Duty I've tested on all of them it works on Black Ops 2 Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3 for whatever reason I can't get the gold spoofing to work for the older uh COD games it might work on Modern Warfare 3 I haven't tried it out yet um it does work on GTA and it does work on Destiny. I've tried, I've got it to work on both of those. So uh, again, um, I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't work for certain games, but uh, it um, somebody oh, I've it doesn't work for our, any of the older games because uh, the the uh, the programs, uh, they read the the hashes or they read the hashes differently or something. Uh, well, as somebody else told me, um, it's supposed to work on all the Call of Duty games except for the old ones and except for Halo. And then uh, I can't remember what somebody else told me something else. But um, honestly, from what I've seen so far, it 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 just depends on the type of game and the type of type of developer. Um, what I'm assuming is like for it, it might be because of uh, um, what they call it RSA checks. They have these they have these developers. They put extra security checks on their on their files. So for example, Halo. I noticed that they ha you, they actually in order to mod the content on there, you actually have to have a uh, uh, modded uh, the X, the XEX file has to have the the RSA uh, the che security checks removed. In order for you to actually mod to to mod the content to mod the maps, so I'm assuming they have their own little check system for the uh, gold spoofing. I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and do this here and, and show you what I'm talking about, because this this is just weird. I I don't I don't get this. I don't get this at all. Well, okay, I'm not can't I can't say I don't get it at all, but I it still makes me scratch my head. I have never seen a single single stall server be able to uh, spoof gold for Halo. If any stall server out there can do it, uh, please let me know. I will be happy to play or promote or whatever on your stall server. Or if you want to give me the codes to do it, make me really really happy. And I know a bunch of people happy. Okay, so see, I'll search, and it's just gonna search and search and search. See, if I didn't have if I didn't have gold spoof, if I didn't have gold, you know, it would just it would give me an error message and say that uh, gold is you need gold in order to play Xbox Live. Well, I have spoof, so I'm able to search. But see, this is the this is the weird thing. It allows you to search, but you're stuck on this. You're not gonna. You're not gonna go anywhere. And, and nobody seems to know how to how to fix this. How to make it so you can you can gold spoof this. Again, I I don't know why it spoofs only half the games. I I really am not sure. But hey, hey 
if I if you if you have a favorite game like mine, which is Halo, you'll, you're gonna have to you're gonna be forced to buy gold. What I would do is I would uh, buy one of those cheap uh, two week gold subscriptions online for like three or four bucks, because you know you don't really play it that much, and then uh, just go from there. Otherwise, if your game is is able to be spoofed by gold, well, then just find yourself a free server, uh, one that lasts a week, and there you go. Um, I'm trying to reframe to ha from having this conversation, but uh, as for for uh, I was thinking about going over uh, KV life a little bit, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I just want to make a few points though about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna find anything. So I want to make a few points about KV life. Okay, so. From what I'm get, what I've researched so far, um, <clears throat> most stealth servers, like the free ones you find, like two, like maybe three, four years ago, they weren't that good. Like you'd probably last maybe a day or two. Heck, even longer before that. Some of the uh, comments I've been reading on forums from 2012 and 2013, they talk about you know uh, getting online for like maybe eight hours, maybe four hours. And then you know, getting banned. Uh, these days, uh, I understand a lot of you see a lot of comments online where you're, oh, you're good luck with that skid server. You're only gonna last a a few days, and you're gonna be buying a bunch of KVs. You're gonna waste your money. Well, uh, that might have been true five years ago, four years ago. Uh, but I'm sorry, people, that that's just not that's not true anymore. Uh, most of these servers, if you, especially if you know what you're doing and you're and you're able to hide yourself good, which you you should be able to, you know, you're not doing too many funny things. Uh, you can last a week. You can last two weeks. You can last four weeks. You know, I was I was on live. Uh, I was uh, on, uh, for example, live emulation uh, uh, Discord chat the other day, and they've got people on there that have lasted three or four months because they know what they're doing, and it's free. So. I uh I'm still scratching my head about uh about people going for uh you know ninja teapot uh I think XP online used to be cheap but it doesn't look cheap anymore you know and uh paying 40 50 60 bucks a month for just so their KV doesn't get banned or oh, I really feel like you're wasting your money here I mean let's let's think about this uh let's think about this you know uh logically <clears throat> so I can buy if you first off uh KVs these days are dirt cheap. 4 or 5 years ago they were really expensive. Like for example, I I found on online uh a KV that, you know, an old KV site where they were selling them for like $8. $8 to $10 for one KV. That, yeah, that that sounds pretty, you know, like it get really expensive to me, especially back then if you're only going to last a day. Well, today, if you're lasting a week, and a KV is less than five dollars, you know most of my KVs I've bought so far are like three fifty, four bucks. I've even found some for two, and they they last me for a long time, because you find legit sellers. So let's let's just do a, let's just uh let's do a a little bit of math here. Okay, so I mean think about this. So four weeks, if I can last. Five days, okay. Let's say I'm gonna last uh, five days. So let's do thirty divided by five. That's that's six. That's say K six KVs. And I, I'm being I'm being kind of uh, conservative about this because most of my KVs I last a week. And that's six KVs for one month. And that's that's if you're on every day and you're a heavy gamer. This would be if you're heavy if you're a heavy gamer online. Okay, so six KVs times uh, five bucks, thirty dollars. Look at that. You're gonna spend thirty dollars on KVs every month. That's that's about how much you're gonna you're gonna spend. Now, if you go to, I'm gonna X out of this real quick. All right, so if you go to Ninja, let's type it in Ninja Stealth Server. Let's see how much they're charging for one month.
I'm on a, I'm on a VPN, so this may be a little slow. I just, I just get, you know, one of the biggest reasons I started doing a half of this, a lot of this stealth server stuff is, I just get sick and tired of seeing people get ripped off. Uh, you know, I see people buy accounts, I see people buying, you know, paying for mods. You, you don't have to pay for that stuff. I mean, if you want to spend and, to me, waste your money on it, by all means, go for it. Okay, so... Okay, okay, 31 days for $55. I mean, look at that right there. And this is, this is, I'm just, <clears throat> I'm talking, this is for a heavy gamer. You're, you're saving money. And a lot of these, a lot of these gamers that you go through a lot of, heavy gamers that go through a lot of, uh, KVs, they're the ones that are are selling uh, these mods, they're selling these uh, um, accounts. You know, they're they're selling they're selling to people. That's why they probably pay for this half the time. And to me, <coughs> uh, if you're especially if you're making you know making good profit, to me thirty bucks is is nothing. You should be able to. Pay for thirty bucks, no problem. But again, like I said, you know, uh, some of these certs, free servers, they they've come up th these stuff files and stuff. They've come a long way. You know, they come a long way from how they were five years ago. So again, I I don't know why I don't know why people continually, especially just normal, uh, you know, modders, people that just want to play online casually. Like, why would you want to pay? F 50 60 bucks a month when you can pretty much cut that in half you know I I, I, I don't know why uh, you want to uh, spend that much money I I, I, I guess I, I guess it's it's worth the paying that paying the extra the, the extra money but uh, you know that's that's up to you I, I'm just I am not stating my opinion here I'm actually stating uh, facts. This is not my opinion. These are facts. Just do the math. Do the math, my friend. Uh, if you are on a stealth server and you, even a free one, if you're on a free one and you get banned after two or three days, please don't go blame the stealth server. Most, more than likely, it's your fault. It really is your fault. If you don't, if you don't like, if you don't, uh, if you're if you're like if you're if you're modding online and you're making it obvious to everybody, you know you're modding. I mean they're gonna quickly report you. Uh, I've a couple a couple other mistakes I've seen I see normally see uh, especially noobs make is they they uh, the they forget to delete. Uh, they, they don't follow. Uh, I I like to call it proper protocol uh, when you're putting on a new KV. First off, you know when you put on new KV. Um, you're gonna you're gonna clear your uh, cache. With, that would be C A C H E on all your drives that you use. You're gonna delete your profiles. You want to delete all those first, and then you, and then you put on your new KV. Also, you don't want to mix your KV with uh, um, yeah, you don't want to mix your KV with uh, other stall servers that that mixes the data. Uh, when you mix data like that, you gotta remember, you know, you're trying to you're trying to be stealthy here. You're trying to hide yourself. If you don't, if you don't, uh, if you if you if you're if you send you know mixed data to Microsoft, that's exactly what that's doing. You know, they're gonna tag you. Also, another thing I see a lot of people too when you put on a new KV, uh, you, you wanna you wanna go with a new IP address, especially after you get banned. Um, as soon as you get banned, you know, uh, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to, you're going to, you're going to use a different IP address because if you use the same IP address, Microsoft is going to flag, it has already got you flagged. So I would, I would, uh, go on there with a new, uh, with like a VPN or something. So for example, I've got one of my routers hooked up to a VPN server and then I've got a regular one. And then when I, uh, 
you know, switch to a new KV, you know, I, uh, I switch to my VPN, connect, you know, and once I get reconnected again, um, after about a day, I think, uh, I I think somebody told me something about the IP the the IP uh on your on your the IP and the port number on your uh um your uh your home router or whatever uh changes. So uh especially if you have a dynamic uh, IP. If you have a static IP for your for your uh which I don't know why you would I think that's kind of weird, but most IP addresses have are dynamic, so they're so they're always changing. So after a day, it changes. You know, those numbers change, and then your uh, your uh, Microsoft isn't. You know, they're not going to recognize that. So uh, again, you know, if you get if you get banned after two or three days, um, unless it really is a shitty server, which I highly doubt it, because everybody I've seen so far uses pretty much the same content. You know, um, you, you you're not you're not gonna get banned. I uh, I uh, I was on uh, line the uh, I was combing through the forums last month, and I think this I think it's this guy named Ricky from uh, he's I think he's the owner of XP Online Stell Server. Um, you know, he made the comment. You know, let's get the record straight. Once you, if you don't have the proper coding for your uh, stall server, and then once somebody gets online, you're gonna automatically get uh, flagged uh, by uh, X by Microsoft, Xbox, or whatever. And then you're gonna be, get put in a queue. And then after so many days, or uh, out when a person works through that queue, they're gonna see the the wrong data, and then they're gonna ban you. Okay, well. Um, I don't exactly know where he's getting his information. I mean, he didn't. First off, I I, I understand his credibility to talk about stealth servers. What I'm questioning is his his uh, um, his proof. You know, he makes he so many people online make these claims, but they don't back it up with proof. You gotta back it up with back it up with proof, my friends. Okay, so where's the proof? Where are you getting this information? Are you buddies with uh, Xbox Live? I mean, do you do you know somebody that worked there, and that's what they told you? I mean, I you know I, I talk to people that have worked at uh, businesses all the time that have quit, and they tell me this shit, and then I end up talking to somebody else that's worked the same company, and they tell me something different. They tell me it's not true. So again, it, it can still be all hearsay, even if it comes from uh, some witness. You know, who knows? You might be talking to a discount, disgruntled employee for all we know. But anyway, my my point is. Uh, these these ser these uh, servers, most of them, um, are a lot better than they were years ago. You're gonna last a lot longer. Um, eventually, maybe what what I'm thinking, what I'm guessing, what really really happens is uh, when you ha start having connection issues with the server, you know, um, that uh, lapse in the packet data that's that's sent to to um, Xbox Live, they're gonna start catching on to that. So, so you if you don't have the the proper uh, well I, I'm gonna call them callbacks. If you don't have the proper callbacks from uh, from uh, Microsoft, if you don't if the if there's some lag between the the stealth server and you and Microsoft, you know they're they're gonna start they will start picking up on that. But that that takes time. That you know that that takes time. They've the uh, people have got this coded so well. It takes time for the for that to, for Microsoft to start picking up on that, and so you know you you can last for a week, you you can last for two weeks, you can last for a month without having to pay uh, fifty five dollars or sixty dollars, whatever they're uh, charging these days. And then a lot of people, you know, they say uh, they pay this amount of money. Well, I'm not exactly paying for the KV. I'm also paying for the for the mods that come with it. Well, um. You know, this system is like 10 years old, man. You don't really have to look that far for really, really good, legit mods that are free. I mean, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of these mods are, a lot of them are cracked, you know, and they're still good. You know, I, I, I find, for example, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know how many times I see people waste their money on a, uh, a, a server, especially usually when they get cracked, like usually rather quickly. I mean. 
I'm assuming the people that do it are like real time haters, but I I don't know. I'm sorry I'm rambling on, but I I just want to get the record straight, okay? Uh, it is a lot more. It's a lot cheaper for you to download free mods or create your own mods and then and go with the free server, okay? And buy KVs than it actually is to to play a pay a flat uh, rate that 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 they're charging these days it's it's how it, it just it doesn't make any sense anymore like I said before five years four or five years ago you know it would have been a better idea to go with the with the you know the the expensive route with the ninja or or one of the, or a teapot or uh, uh, one of these still servers you know that, that have uh, really really good callbacks really really good uh um uh they have their they have their uh server uh programmed uh, really really well but um these days it just isn't true so i mean i'm i mean i'm scratching my head like you know one of these days ninja for example they're going to have to start clawing back on their prices a little bit here now if they charge like 20 bucks a month 25 bucks a month Okay, that would be worth it to me. That would I would pay for that. I would. But forty, forty-five dollars, fifty bucks a month—that's a ripoff. You're 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 spending your money, blowing your money down the drain. So I mean, you think about it. You buy a KV. You you pay you pay like forty, fifty, sixty bucks a month. You know, for a subscription to a cell server. Plus, you might have to pay for gold. Plus, you might pay for additional mods if you, depending on your game, you know, that can rack up to sixty, seventy, hundred dollars a month. I, I, I just don't see it. I, I've, I, I don't know how much money I, I've saved for with going with, uh, you know, free stall servers. I, I mean, legitimately, if you find one that can last for a week or two, you, you, I would highly recommend sticking with it. All right. Well, I am going to end it there uh, again i'm going to uh the exor the gold spoofing uh codes i'm going to leave in the comment section um for you to download uh the the calculating of the exor uh just you know watch this video it's it's pretty simple um i might leave uh a description on how to do it you know what I, I or i might not if i don't just just watch the video the the part where i exor the I show you how to XOR the uh, your IP address and your port number. All right. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you all uh, enjoy this video and find it a little educational, and uh, give me lots of likes down below. I'm not looking for tuning anything big here. I'm just trying to you know pay it forward and uh, you know make sure that looking out for my fellow man, making sure that they don't get ripped off. All right. Thank you and have a good one.